Hey felters and welcome. Today in this video we're going to do this super 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 easy sleepy sheepy. That's a lot of S's. Um, really really easy. I'll show you what you need. A white carded wool, a black wool and then any locks and I'm using grey Gotland locks. You can find them on Etsy but you can use any locks or any wool on top that you want. Just take the shape of the sheep and add your wool on the top. So take the white carded and this is how we're going to do the body. Roll it up nice and tight. The tighter you roll it, the easier it is to felt. Um, I'm using one of my multi tools and I'm just getting a cylindrical shape here. So round off uh, each end and then we're going to start firming it up in a minute. I needed to make it a bit bigger. So just add some more. It's so easy to do and it'll end up being about four inches by about three. And then because I've just added it on and felted it a bit, I just want to firm it all up and this is what's gonna take you the longest. So spend a bit of time needle felting all the surface and it doesn't have to be really firm, but this just really helps with attaching the locks and it gives it that nice stable shape. There we are, so that's all firmed up onto the head. So take the black wool and just roll it up. It's only going to be a couple of inches long and we're going to round off one end for the nose. And the top bit, at the, that's how it's going to fit on. The top bit at the back of the head, I do round off as well because some of the head is going to show. And again, it doesn't have to be really firm, just firm enough to hold its shape. So for the ears, take a bit of the wool, flatten it out, felt it through the middle and then fold the ends over about an inch wide. They don't have to be too neat. And the thing about the black face and the black ears is you don't need any eyes and you don't need any detail on this sheep. That's why he's so easy to do. So when the ear is done, I want you to fold it in half so it gives it a little ear shape just like that and then that'll keep the ear shape and then we're going to attach it to the back of the head. You can attach it pointing whatever direction you want, up, down, to the sides and it'll change the character of the sheep. There we go, that's the head and ears done. Again, like I said, very, very easy. Just here, because I thought the top of the head might show, I've put a bit of extra black wool on the top just to cover up the join. But in the end, I did put a bit of a fringe on the sheep, so it didn't show. So now just attach it to the body and start needle felting the base or the back of the head onto the white of the body. I don't add a little scarf technique here. I literally, this is all I do to attach the head to the body is keep needle felting through. Then you're gonna make the coat and you're going to take your locks and take the cut end of the locks I secure underneath and then I fold the pretty or the neater end of the locks down so that get all the locks in one direction and the end bit that was cut is underneath there needle felt it through and then fold it down so you've got all the lovely part of the locks showing and this is one layer we're doing all the way around the base of the sheep. And I don't cover the bottom up, you can do if you want to. So that is one layer all the way around. And then go about half an inch, maybe an inch further up and do the next layer. Fold it down and then you might need to sort of needle felt some of them in a bit. So that's the second layer. He's nearly done. And I did all under the neck as well. Make sure you cover that. So along the back, I start at the bottom and do one facing backwards. And then I follow forwards, facing them all backwards. And then you can start to spread them out. And then when we get behind the neck, I just did two either side. And then one going forwards for over the head to give him a little fringe. You don't have to, it's up to you. And then this one is just to cover it all up. Now, unfortunately, I put them forwards and they looked a little bit silly. So I've moved them back a bit. He looked too fluffy. 
So I moved them back a bit and it just helped covers up the last gap that you would have. So just needle felt it all in and try and get the shape that you want. And that's it. So easy to do for a sleepy sheepy. All done, so I hope you enjoyed him. My next video is going to be troubleshooting with wire armature. I'm just putting out some short videos, but thanks for watching and see you soon.